Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your neat parent host, Um Zakaria. Inshallah, you're well. Today, I'd like to discuss five reasons why Muslim parents need a Google Nest or a Google Assistant. The number one reason, Google can help you with the times for Salah. Okay, Google, what are the Salah times for today? I found six on the website edarabia.com. Prayer times today in California. Fajr, 5.37 a.m. Sunrise, 7.09 a.m. Duhar, 12.05 p.m. Asa, 2.43 p.m. Maghrib, 5.02 p.m. And finally, Aisha, 6.28 p.m. Okay, she doesn't have the actual accent, but she tells us the times for your area. Inshallah, if you don't have an app or if you don't have access or you're just not near anything or anywhere to have that. She's she or he, depending on the voice you chose. I selected a British woman, um, but you can you can select or choose the different accent and uh, the different voice tones. Um, and you can select if it's going to be a male or a female. Uh, nonetheless, she gets the job done. She lets us know what time it is to Sully and sometimes you just need to know really quickly what time is Asr, what time is Maghrib, regardless of their accent. I have an accent. She has an accent. So we all have accents. Alhamdulillah. Another reason why Muslim parents need a Google Assistant in their households is because sometimes Google can actually help us with watching our kids. They're not going to be a babysitter. But listen to this. Hey, Google, I'm bored. Sure. You might like talking to Jungle Adventure. Want to give it a try? So that's another way in which you can have a help and a way in which you can utilize Google Assistant in your home. Or, okay, Google, why does the moon keep following me in the car? On the website wired.com, they say the moon appears to follow you because it is so far away. When the car moves 100 feet forward, the relative angle between... So, once again, Google can not be a babysitter. However, Google can help you to have a break from maybe the millions of questions or from the, the millions of questions our children may ask, mashallah, or from the comments, I'm bored, I have nothing to do. Google can help, not for a long time, but Google can be a great assistant in that department. Maybe you just have something to do with maybe one of the other children, or maybe you have something to do in another part of the home. And Google can interact and entertain, inshallah, in a halal way, your child. Oh, I also forgot to mention that Google can also read stories. That's one thing you probably have to monitor or supervise because depend you don't know what story she's going to read. So you can select next or you can say, uh, Google, hey, Google, read me a story. Sure. Here's the golden goose from Storynary on Google Play Books. So that's one way in which your child can be entertained, or as a Muslim parent, you may have a little bit of freedom or a little bit of sakina, a little bit of a break from maybe dealing with that particular child in that particular moment and or being able to handle something else really quickly while knowing that your child is entertained or occupied in a very safe way, <laughs> inshallah. Another way in which you can have a Google Assistant in your home as a valuable price. Okay, Google, stop. Sometimes Google um, didn't hear me say stop, but nonetheless, it is very helpful. (laughs) One of the ways in which a Google Assistant is also helpful is for the white noise sound. Sometimes Depending on the child or depending on the individual, sometimes the parent needs a white noise sound to take a nap or to go to sleep or to, um, I mean, go to sleep at night or have a nap, longer sleep or shorter sleep, whichever. And or sometimes the child or the visitor or whoever might be in the household might need some sort of white noise 
and maybe you don't want to have your phone occupied or tied up or you don't have another alternative, a fan or a filter, air filter, Google can also act as a white noise. Uh, that's been particularly helpful for one of my children who needs a white noise sound to sleep. So Google will play that white noise throughout the whole night. Okay, Google, play rain sounds. Okay, Google, play white noise sounds. Okay, Google, stop. Usually, we don't have it stop until the morning when that child wakes up. However, um, you can always tell Google to stop. You can tell Google thank you. You can tell Google nothing. Um, and Or you can also set it on a Sorry. timer. I didn't get that. Okay, Google. Would you like to connect Stop. to Jungle Adventure? Okay, no problem. Okay, Google. Stop. I should add that to the list of pets um, that one may have. Halal pets Muslim households can have. Alhamdulillah. And the last way in which a Google Assistant is needed or a very helpful resource in a Muslim household would be to translate into another language and or interpret languages. So if you want Google to translate a particular word, you're just curious, how do you say this word in Japanese? Um, Google will let you know. Okay, Google, how do you say thank you in Japanese? In Japanese, that's arigato. What else should I translate? Okay, Google, stop. Sure, I'll stop translating. Or you can have Google interpret for you. Sometimes, uh, alhamdulillah, as a multilingual, multicultural person, sometimes relatives of mine may speak a language that the people in my household do not speak. So if you have visitors or if you have relatives visiting or staying with you or just even on the phone, sometimes you can just quickly ask Google to interpret what is this relative saying, especially if this particular, if that particular relative doesn't speak English, kids can benefit. You still want to maintain the ties of kinship and um, keep your family uh, tuned in and included in the happenings and raising of your children. So your child can have a translator or an interpreter for themselves. So Google will serve as an interpreter. Okay, Google. Please be my translator, my interpreter. What language do you want translated? French. Sure, go ahead. What time is it? Quelle heure est-il? Okay, Google, stop. All right, I'll stop translating. Okay, Google, be my interpreter. What language do you want translated? Indonesian. Got it. Let's get started. What time is Juma prayer? Salat Jumatnya jam berapa? Okay, Google, stop. Okay, I'll stop translating. Alhamdulillah, it works. Doesn't have all of the languages in the world. However, I believe they're adding languages um, very frequently. So one of the ways, that's just one of the w many um, languages that it does have. Obviously, we saw French and Indonesian, and um, there are many more. There actually is Arabic, so that's also a great thing as well, inshallah. Uh, but that's for the interpreter services. For the translation services, it has way more uh, languages available as well, inshallah. So that was helpful information and maybe some reasons why to add that to your list, maybe as an Eid income, upcoming Eid gift and or just another helpful tip for your household on your parenting journey, your Muslim household on your parenting journey, inshallah. 
inshallah, will be something that will uh, make your life and your households a lot less chaotic, inshallah. Until the next episode, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.